God, I love these segments. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> All right, uh, political reporting that it turns out David Gregory might be out at NBC. Moving on from Meet the Press, possibly replaced by Chuck Todd. Anybody know who might have first said that David Gregory's already out? If somebody hired a psychological consultant to go talk to my wife, which was what they did, and to talk to my family and friends like, is he okay? I would have issues with that. I would have significant issues with that. Besides which, dude, read the writing on the wall. You're a goner, okay? So let me explain why I say that. Because the people leaking these stories is NBC News. Na 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 na. Okay, and I don't celebrate this. I don't celebrate. I don't celebrate. Okay, I really don't. I have Look, I, I don't think David Gregory does a very good job of being a journalist. Uh, but on the other hand, I think most people on television don't do a very good job. Almost all of them don't do a very good job of being journalists uh, and holding the government accountable, holding the Republican Party, Democratic Party accountable. Uh, so uh, it's not surprising to see what happened to David Gregory. And of course, we weren't the first ones to report that he was having trouble. I was uh, at that point covering a story that had talked about how they had hired a psychological consultant for him and, and to talk to his family. Now, what, what was interesting about that is when we put that up, some people wrote articles online saying, hey, Cenk Uygur, who uh, was treated in a similar way at MSNBC, what we, I had was leaks about me coming from MSNBC and hence NBC overall uh, that were not really true. Uh, and that's when I knew, oh boy, they've already made the decision, right? And at that point, uh, they then offered me a, a job on the weekends, and it was because I had apparently not listened to a literal speech they had given me about being uh, more pro establishment. I, just, <laughs> I couldn't believe the speech either. Anyway, so I said to David Gregory at the time, hey, listen, once they start leaking against you, you're a goner, as you just saw there. And what's hilarious is the same exact organization, Political, reporting today that he is a goner, had someone from that covering the media, Dylan Byers, tweet out at that time, who would listen to Cenk Uger talking about this anyway? <laughs> what would he know? Hey, Dylan, what is it that I know now? <laughs> as I like to say, hear me now, quote me later. <laughs> Will Chuck Dodd be any better? Well, look, let's have an open mind and let's see how Chuck does. And my counsel to you, if you'd like to go back into first place, and David Gregory took Meet the Press from first to third, is perhaps ask challenging questions that's both more interesting to the audience and the more proper role for the media, which is to be a watchdog of the government. The lapdog option didn't really work out that well. It required psychological consulting, okay? I'd go for the watchdog option and see how it goes. Maybe then they would really be meeting the press. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Let's give that a shot.